Hey everyone welcome back to Palscraft where all the other pals and I have a go at Minecraft SMP today. Oh yes this is season 2 by the way so that said let's go. At this moment I have a full iron set but I need to upgrade you know which way I am going right well that is right the diamond way today we are going to look for diamonds not just a few but all. All the diamonds we can find in this huge world of Minecraft. So today we will hit the mines for those darn nice diamonds. We will also visit a village that is nearby and kill some mobs because we love killing those ugly things. My hate for mobs has really grown in the past days. I heard they started doing small raids on villages with creepers. That is one of the reasons why we are going to visit the village to check if everything is alright. So let's start our journey shall we? There is like the moon, Jupiter, you have Earth the planet that we live on. You have got some other planets. But if I named them all you are going to be a here for a while. Do you know the planet Mars? The planet Mars may have water so there could be some aliens on that planet. Excuse me I think I need a taxi to the nearest McDonald's. I want a MC chicken menu and a milkshake strawberry please. Oh this is not the McDonald's? Well what was I thinking then? I should get dressed go home and go to the McDonald's. Wait I already am home. Then I should go to the Burger King cause that is better when you are at home. Have you ever wanted to tape some pieces of bread onto your chest and just row a boat to like an island and live there? That would be a dream of mine to just go onto an island where nothing is built yet and just make my own rules and live there. I would build a really nice house and just chill there at the beach every day. My diet would consist of just coconuts and some creatures that live on that planet. Or do you ever have any random thoughts that you would just super glue stuff to your chest not with like tape not taping bread to your chest but just super gluing stuff onto your body like you could just glue an entire kitchen onto your body or just glue a television onto your belly button would that even be possible i have no idea but it is time to show you my secret place this crater i know it is such a nice place to mine right but we will head down from another way because it is getting dark and you know what that means right mobs mobs everywhere so the main resource we are looking for is diamond of course but everything else like coal Iron or gold is welcome too. So just everything we see we'll try to get. We first need to mine down to find those nice diamond. I just love those diamonds guys. They make me so happy like when I see one of them I just start smiling and just doing random things. You know who is much bigger diamond lover trip the small man is just crazy about them. His whole house is just diamond diamond and more diamonds. You know why we don't fight diamond right now well that is because my brain is processing how this mine is going to look before I do something to it, and I thought in my head like what is it going to look like with these flat wide mini carts, and my head was like, go for it sub, it will look amazing. So, when my mind tells me that it is going to look great then I believe that it will look great and then I make it great and then it actually is great, so that is really nice. And don't you guys think that these windows look great? with the natural lighting and stuff and these crafting tables we need a lot of crafting tables that is why we are making this video i am going to show all of you cool crafting recipes and it is all going to be amazing but i don't really like the coziness with the torches instead we need more crafting tables you can never have enough crafting tables trust me and now we have a lot of crafting tables and it is even smaller and how smaller your house how cozier your house and we just don't have enough crafting tables so we need to expand and the floor is a great beginning with expanding with more crafting tables, yes even more than there are right now. And yes, that is really necessary and now we are going to place a lot of crafting tables in the roof and from down here inside of the house you can't even see that they are crafting tables. But from the side and from on top of the roof you could probably see that those are crafting tables. Yeah, I was right. And we don't really need to have the roof look really great or anything so we are just going to leave it like this. We have a flat roof so no one will see that it is even made out of crafting tables. So we are good with that. But now I am just taking some stuff that was also back in my day stuff. And I am going to make even more stuff with all of that stuff. So it is going to be amazing stuff. And you guys are going to be like wow did they have that in the old days as well? And then I am going to be like yeah of course. It was amazing the old days. You didn't have no submarine bases with those weird guardian fish and stuff. It was just the most simple thing ever even live somewhere there. Because the people that would live there would probably have a smelly pants after you tell them this story happened in their town. 
So we are not going you know what the problem is in this story that there will be a jump scare moment to name any town so we don't concern the people that might live there even though it is a relevantly small town. But I do not want to get in any trouble or anything so I am not going to take the risk of saying something about a town with angry people. So here we go. Bob the Banger. You better be ready. I talked a bit trough this minute so you could have gotten your popcorn and lay back in your chair or in your bed or wherever you are. Bob Bahadarn Anger. The year once again was the beginning of the 21st century and it was in a town that is going to be unnamed for reasons to not frighten the residents from that town. Bob was a friendly geezer growing up and pretty much all of the residents knew little Bob. But as Bob got older he did not necessarily get any wiser. But he got a little bit fudged up in his head. On a night when Bob was in his bedroom his parents had a little fight. And this was not new for Bob because his parents had a bit of a poopy marriage but they did not want to get divorced because they might harm Bob's future with getting divorced. But they harmed his head just more with doing what they were doing. And what they were doing was not getting divorced but almost every night that they were sitting at the television they would begin to have a little word with each other. Nothing big but just a disagreement. But then either his mother or his father would say something and then all hell broke loose. And Bob started to see it coming and when he first saw it coming he said something about it and that he did not like the way that his parents got along with each other, but they just sent Bob to his room. And Bob would get sad in his room, because he wanted to see his parents happy just like any other parents from the kids that he went to school with. But something around three years later the time was ripe and it escalated so heavily with his parents that there was no way that they could live with the three of them anymore in that same house together. So. Bob was a bit sick in his head from all that was happening at school, and also his situation at home. And his parents were to blame that it got this far. But Bob was on a normal day at school, and some of his friends were acting tough that they had a pistol at home. And Bob thought hot darn, a pistol. That is pretty darn cool even though if I say so myself, but if I had that and just threatened the situation at home then maybe my parents would get along a bit better and I would save their marriage. But that was not how it worked and neither did Bob get his hands on a gun because with the age of 13 you cannot get your hands on a gun. Or you have to know some pretty sketchy people. But Bob did not know any sketchy people so he was there once again standing alone for himself. And Bob always thought that his mom had pretty cool spoons when she was cooking and his uncle was a butcher and he always thought that that was the coolest thing that ever existed. And he liked those spoons that butchers use for soup, the one that is called the butcher spoon. So, he went to his uncle and he said that his mom needed a butcher spoon for cooking reasons. But what his uncle Billy did not yet know that his mom was not even home but she was sleeping at a hotel at the time. But Bob told the story because he knew that his uncle Billy would not know that his mom was there because his parents would not really talk about their problems but instead they would just keep it a secret to themselves and Bob. Bob knew as well. And he wanted it to end because he did not like the way that his was heading towards. But Bob hid the spoon under his shirt and he would tuck the spoon in between his leg and the part where the belt from pants are. And it was nice and clean on that place. But he got home and his mom was not home so there was no fight at home. But his dad had a bit too much to drink and Bob did not like that because he was acting strange for some reason. But Bob did once again not really care and he just headed to his bedroom and he put the spoon under his pillow just in case any burglars came in because he was really afraid for burglars. So, he went to bed and in the morning somehow his mom made him breakfast and the two of them were acting happy. And that never happened, well not that Bob could remember. But his mom and his dad were both just happy and that was nice for a change. But Bob did not yet know why they were happy. But just casually his mom was making little Bob some cereal and she just said it. She said that she and his dad were getting a divorce. Well Bob did not really know that it was going to be a pretty huge deal for him. But he did know that it was not a really good sign to get a divorce. But he did not really care. But his mom still needed a place to sleep. And his dad was still paying all of the rent by himself and he would claim the bedroom that the two had shared all those years. So, his mom had to sleep in the garage where there was an attic and there was a nicely built guest room. And it was pretty much on the other side of where his father would sleep so that was shark she was going insane again when she thought very hard in her head about what she had done that night. She was panicking. Henrik assured her that it was all in her head. Sharkwisha actually got up destroyed that same mirror that was there in her room. Her parents thought it was best to just believe what the doctors were saying. Henrik convinced the parents that Sharkwisha was actually going insane. Mom could not believe it at first. 
Dad believed Heinrich because he is a doctor himself. Not in a mental asylum but he still is a doctor in a hospital and he sees some of the same situations himself every day. As you can see we are going to trot it one more time because Chip thought it was a very interesting story that he just had heard. If we finish the story you would know about how the two other girls got killed and how Sharkwisha actually lived her life in that asylum. Kayla and Bertha were sleeping that same night and Bertha was having a nice dream about things and stuff. Kayla did not have a very nice dream about things and stuff. She was having a pretty intense nightmare about what has happened and what the consequences could be. She was having a couple of different dreams. One where she would just live on a happily ever after life like nothing happened at all. One where only her two friends got killed and she was the one to be blamed. There would be no case in court because it is scientifically unexplainable. But she would live a life where have you ever thought why would I not make a prank call? Like just call someone and tell them some crazy stuff. That would be really cool because it would just be such a random conversation that it would be funny. Like you could prank someone with some real problems and just talk very random to them. Hi I think that could make me laugh already. Just look at how big this obby is. Like it is really huge. Do you know what else is huge? Space. Space is huge because there are so many planets in there. There is like the moon, Jupiter, you have Earth the planet that we live on. You have got some other planets. But if I name them all you are going to be here for a while. Do you know the planet Mars? The planet Mars may have water so there could be some aliens on that planet. Excuse me I think I need a taxi to the nearest McDonald's. I want a MC chicken menu and a milkshake strawberry please. Oh this is not the McDonald's? Well what was I thinking then? I should get dressed go home and go to the McDonald's. Wait I already am home. Then I should go to the Burger King cause that is better when you are at home. Have you ever wanted to tape some pieces of bread onto your chest and just row a boat to like an island and live there? That would be a dream of mine to just go onto an island where nothing is built yet and just make my own rules and live there. I would build a really nice secret house and just chill there at the beach every day. My diet would consist of just coconuts and some creatures that live on that planet. Or do you ever have any random thoughts that you would just super glue you stuff to your chest not with like tape not taping bread to your chest but just super gluing stuff onto your body like you could just glue an entire kitchen onto your body or just glue a television onto your belly button would that even be possible because like televisions are pretty heavy and i don't think the glue would hold i have to tell you something though like i have a gmail account and i am getting emails from people i don't know i think they are companies or something they are just random name things i don't know what to do or what but like go to your gmail account do you have random emails as well? Why do I keep dying all of the time I can't even finish a story like this man? Like you would think by now I would see the pattern in this simple stage but I just keep walking into the wrong paths. This stage looks easy though. It does not remind me of anything at the moment except for maybe a carpet or something. Like these round ones really do look like pancakes just like a couple of stages ago. Let me know down below what you put on your pancake. I am really curious to what other people eat on their pancakes. If your name is Josh and you empty an entire Nutella pot onto your pancake I rate you man. Ah uh, we are back at a stage where I could feel like Tony Hawk again. Did you know Tony Hawk has some skateboarding games? Like the man even has books about his life. Look at this one though it looks like a maze where you need to find the other side of a maze so you can complete the maze. Like the yellow things were corn and you are in a field where farmers normally would get your food from. So alright enough of Tony let's focus on this little man should we give him a name? Yes let's call him Pete. Sup Pete how are you doing yay okay from now on we will call little man Pete. Glad that you people like the name well I don't really know if you like it but that is what I am hoping for ha ha ha. It is just so cute how he follows me around and tries to keep up with me. Sometimes I do have to wait for him because he isn't used to all of this high terrain. I think he never went out of the village so yay. But that is alright I will teach him everything he needs to know. But first let's make a place where we can store our stuff she was the one that killed her, her best friends. Bertha was not really her best friend but she was having a hard time processing that Sharkwisha was dead. They eventually woke up in a weird alleyway near the McDonald's where they always had fun in between breaks. They saw an appearance of the same woman that was seen in the mirror. The girls were brutally murdered but of course no one saw a thing. No witnesses, 
It was a clean murder. The world was shook and even Sharkwisha heard the stories in the asylum. Sharkwisha actually was held hostage in the asylum for the rest of her life. John was called and he heard a strange deep voice react to what John just said. If you do not remember John said what are the odds that he would be the target. John was in a pretty bad shock of what he just heard. Now the mystery man but ladies and gentlemen it is time for me to end this video right here and I will see you back in the next one where we will continue on the farm. Bye.